You know there's a walk where you can go from grass down to the Belgrade? Yes, yes. So you could actually leave your car down the Belgrade. One person will drive you all up there. Do you know where it is? Yes, but uh, yeah, that's true. Charge, uh, but the wall comes up behind something. You'll have trouble catching him. It's very fast. Yeah. Uh, okay. By one, they strip all the little leaves off. I can't okay. see that. Tree ferns look good with snow on them. Yes, honey, when I see ferns, I think of cutting it down. <coughs> we just cut it a few weeks ago. <coughs> It extends all the way through it there with little garden paths going through it. Just gorgeous little garden paths. Ben, stop it, please. Be a good boy. Come on. You don't need to do that. up to the little fence there, but you just come down here and you'll see, ignore this area that's some drainage, we're, we're having sewers put in. nice because you see back there there's a church so we don't um, have neighbours it's quiet so you feel like you're in a bush setting here by yourself but what's missing is uh, I need people to come and visit yeah yeah and it's a perfect place to come and visit what do you got under the house there is it just uh... it's just underground nothing okay. one could build something there yeah. it has a potential to do a lot of wonderful things okay. But you see all these trees here, they're gorgeous, but in the winter time they cut out the light, so the yeah. house is quite dark because yeah. it's yeah. bluestone. Yeah. Um, but in the summer... Today on there is where the 
National Circuit with the National Party of the Court. Jurgler was, the, and he was the chief architect, and Mitchell was the uh, Australian guy that they roped in so that they could qualify yeah, for the competition. Right no, not Mitchell. Um, Thorpe was the Australian guy, and Mitchell was oh. the American. And Thorpe was working in, uh, I think, for Mitchell in um, in America, and so Jurgler and Mitchell got together and roped in Thorpe to, to found the um, yeah. the company. MGT was called Mitchell Jurgler yeah, and Thorpe. Right. Should not, must not be challenged. Oh, yeah. who, who would have thought a generation ago that such a gathering as this would ever be necessary? Mm. Our message to the, to the House and to oh. the Senate is don't meddle with tax unions, it's simply beyond the pale. It's wrong headed. It is but one front in the campaign being waged by activists in the aggressive secularist movement that has arisen in this country. And by the well-meaning fellow travellers who have been led to believe that it is a matter of compassion and human rights. For our part, we must respond with truth, love, fairness and conviction, but without venom. Today's busy program will help us with this. Especially, I know you will want to hear from our principal guest speaker, Rebecca Hagelin. Uh, you will also hear from... <laughs> At a time when the Greens prescribed public policy agenda demands we strictly apply uncompromising natural principles to every tree in the country, why won't we apply those same natural principles to children? <laughs> Even in the same way demand that as a child cannot be brought into this world without the involvement of a man and a woman, that nature prescribes that he or she must be nurtured and grow with that same equal involvement wherever humanly possible. Truth is also the casualty in the framing of this debate as an issue of discrimination. Smart marketing with us as Australians committed to a fair go. But over 100 amendments to 84 pieces of legislation mean there is no discrimination. And it is not discriminatory for society to hold up as an ideal the definition of an institution that conforms to nature and social custom across millennia and all cultures. In the inner west of Sydney, it could truly be represented as the United Nations of the world. And the feedback that I have gathered from a cross-section of the community, a wide cross-section of the community, certainly extending beyond the churches, is that they want me to defend the institution of marriage. Oh. The people that I represent do not see the push for same-sex marriage as one of equality or one of discrimination or even one of human rights. In 2009, I supported and voted for 
amendments to eight five laws to eliminate the discrimination against people living in a same-sex relationship, and quite rightly so. And they were in the area of social security, immigration, taxation, superannuation, family law, property rights, health and aged care. Discrimination was eliminated in this parliament in 2009 against same-sex couples. Marriage, as we all know, has been in existence for thousands of years. And what I believe we are witnessing today in this debate across our country is an attempt to redefine marriage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my electorate accepts that all people are equal. There is a significant minority within my electorate, including my own party, who do not agree with my public defence of marriage. Well, I respect their right to disagree with me. But I also expect that they would respect me and respect you. God's sacrifice 